All right, night number five of our terrible weapons only run, and I would describe the weapons we are using as uh, terrible. How hard are you hitting now? You're hitting for 600 on a crit, and you're critting a lot, so I'm just going to chill. Make you dodgy. Why not? Let's see. If you... <laughs> Arctic Blast hits so laughably weakly. It's kind of amazing. Somewhat astounding. I think you can come over here and just take care of this, because we'll have plenty of time to run back. We heard you like mana, so now you're going to give up all your mana. Poking down things for no apparent reason. Can you shoot the bat? No. Just trying to give some isolated targets for Casper since Casper's not not exactly pumping damage at the moment. Now, oh, Casper did pick up Sadus, so we should uh, we should make sure we're tossing out some contaminates as we go. That is a disappointing amount of damage. So let's see. So before we go too far, let's get some of this going. Well, I guess the sadism isn't that strong at the moment. The stuns are doing decent work. You got nothing left in the tank. I already ran you back. That was a mistake. I was expecting someone else to take care of the uh, of that last duder. The, the miss was a little sad there. Okay. If only Casper wasn't on their deathbed. What would that change? <laughs> it's time to zap people with a death ray. Twice. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? And then sword is kind of like mini death, right? <laughs> okay. Can Casper finish off the like two enemies that we've left on the field? The answer looks to be like no. Uh, yeah, no, they just can't.
Let's see. I'm trying to think what the what the best plan is. If we if we stun the bats, that's probably better than anything else we can do with our first action. Okay. The bats just didn't die. So we f we should feel bad about that, I guess. Forgot about offhands. I forgot that you had action points left too, actually. This guy being too close is just a uh, an irony I can barely manage to uh, to handle, and you still didn't get the kill. Should have done this a while ago, though. Do you also? Jeez, 141 HP. All right. Well, we left one. I think I'm going to try and uh, power level Keon here into getting up to Mana Collector. <laughs> at, a, at an incredible cost of mana. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get the bats this way. Almost, not quite. All right, back into your back into your tower, my friend. Death ray is S tier incoming. Definitely not. Definitely not. But I will. Uh... Did that really miss? That was unfortunate. But when it comes to to this challenge. I will, uh, I will cop to the fact that it is one of the better uh, abilities that we have at our disposal. <laughs> Let's see. I'm a little bummed about you missing that. Do we have any offhands left? We do. Offhand left over here, no. We'll crit power next turn. Yeah, the only thing that uh, that Death Ray is S tier at is emptying my hero's mana pool. You have to remember, this hero has like 60 mana and we're only gaining 11 per turn. So this is, uh, this is a healthy price we're paying to keep keep things under control. And uh, I think the fun ends here also. Okay. Not much left in the tank. You have you have a free offhand. I was like, where's the panic coming from? Our blood mage is turning into a blood mage next turn, so we're we're fine with that. Okay. We like them being out of mana. We would have liked for them to be out of mana like one turn later, but the temptation is just so strong. I can't do it though. I can't take them down another notch.
try and get a few kills for Casper. Succumb to the ways of the Death Ray. I mean, if we could just find a way to to make it somewhat sustainable, we'd be on to something. I should have used this sooner. But we we secured the the A rank, so that's that's got to be worth something. He gets level six. Gosh, glint fine. Gosh, glint fine. I I do think that finding a way for for the uh, finding a way for glint fine to feel a little more. Excuse me, not glint fine. Uh, Gildenberg to have a little bit more uh, like replayability would be would be very good for business. All right, Casper, you're you're stick. You're gonna grab some range damage, and some resistance reduction, and I guess runic gift. Bodybuilder was was never uh, was never in the cards apparently for that paper thin skinned monstrosity. Got to be blood mage because we're sitting on like no mana. Runic gift would have been nice too, but. Resistance reduction? Yeah, you have the orb for that, right? He's even thinner than paper thin. This is like uh this is like a, a black eyed peas. What's colder than ice what's cooler than ice cold? <laughs> same same basic concept. Uh, I guess we are going back for spiky counter. Fear of death. I think I like this medallion on Casper. We just picked up some new some new trinket slots. I think that getting the stun there is good and fear of death isn't bad either. Yeah, that worked out well. Okay. Just got to grab some gear. Those greaves are pretty interesting. What are Keon's pants right now? That's, that's a pretty nominal upgrade. I'll roll this. Ooh, from bad to worse, apparently. Those pants are kind of nice. So you don't have to worry about rerolls anymore. We have basically no trinket slots. Yeah, orbs having minus health on them is just kind of annoying. Like, at at some point, the a developer of the game had to be sitting there being like, you know, it's a really strong weapon, orbs. We need to give them make them the only weapon in the game with a like survivability downside it's a little it's a little baffling it is a little baffling freaking warp crystal with opportunism and damage don't mind if i do all right so you are losing that and losing that that's your that's your new life You, I wanted to give that because it gives skill range. And we got these pants for our hedgehog. We are losing a bit of block, but I think it's worth it. Then you can take that. 57 armor. It's a banner day. 
A banner day, I tell ya. I don't think Shopkeeper's Friend is worth it in this context. Movement potions might be important. Grab that for sure. 7% stun. Might might make our, our stunner worth... Worth something. Also, what's the... This is... So you can switch from knight armor to devil armor. Pretty much a gain across the board. Sure, I'll grab it. And then these are only level one, so unfortunately we can't do those. I'll grab a mana potion, just because we're we're burning through mana like it's it's going out of style. How many slots, in fact, does Keon have? Just the one. Grab those. Casper no longer needs this. Our hedgehog can take one of those. And then Casper might need to teleport at some point. So in Lustrous, you want me to fill this whole inside area just with, with garbage uh, wooden walls? That's the that's the meta you are you are desirous of? Probably do another house upgrade and grab another piece of gear. Ah, since okay, so that was just the best you could do. I understand now. Ooh, some multi hit. Shame, shame. Be a shame if there were no multi hit uh, weapons unlocked. Low tier weapons plus no ballista is spicy. Yeah, I think we're gonna do okay. This is quite nice. This this shield is strangely quite nice. Twenty three mana is a lot of mana. I think I'm actually gonna grab that. I didn't think too hard about where I was gonna put it when I grabbed it, but so I was, I was thinking it could go over here. Just give you a bigger mana pool. This is trash. This is trash. More death rays. And then I'm gonna sell something to to get another another upgraded mana well. That's the that's the point that we are at, where I think the mana well might be our strongest uh, our strongest something or other. I am tempted to, to barricade spam in here. Can can you share your save? Uh, yeah, if you join the Discord and ask, I'm I'm happy to. Uh, 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 Orin, I'm gonna go with Orin. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to if you uh, if you wanted. Um, I I've had everything unlocked for a long time, so there's not a lot of. Uh, there's not a lot of anything particularly exciting going on there, but uh, there's all, there's also already on the Ishtar Discord a just fully unlocked save file if if that's uh, what you're looking for. Okay. We'll just do that, and then I think our Hedgehog is extremely capable of soloing. I'm going to put you back in here, I guess, for now. And then you can be over here, and we don't want these blocking Death Ray shenanigans. Prefer unlocking everything on your own? I'm, I'm with you on that one. It doesn't take that long once you, uh, you kind of get going. All right, let's do this. Do you have enough skill range to shoot that missensor? You do. Okay, you got two missensors. 
I mean, I have 1 million on my save. The essence stacks up real fast when you don't spend it. Yeah, it really does. All right. Oh, one free building ability. That's right. I was going to upgrade that, but it just didn't, didn't happen. Let's do that. Okay. Here we go. Night number six of our bad weapons fiesta. Our bad weapons clown fiesta. Not just any type of fiesta. It is a clown fiesta. I think if I stand here, these guys might kill themselves on, on me. And then I guess if I move over here. Have you do this. Fear of death. Doing, doing some interesting things. Are you you're, you're questioning my my use of bad in in reference to the weapons in Lustrous? It's true. Any anything is workable, right? That's part of what we are uh, what we are here to demonstrate. Okay, we'll let these guys come in. I don't think that's going to be too bad. There was our crit, so our crit damage dropped off. Should probably get some debuffs out there when I can. Okay. Yes, this map is uh, is eight nights total. Or wait, is it seven nights total? The the two hundred damage there was pretty funny. Uh, this is the this is the second to last night, so it's seven nights total. All right, let's see. Oh, why did I break my own wall there? That wasn't my finest work. I guess I'll just stand here from now on. <laughs> Metal of mood swings can finally have value. True that. True that. I should drink. I should drink this. Oh, missing the crit there was really unfortunate. Okay. Should get my hedgehog out one more too, though, probably. The, uh... There's some good work being done by uh, by spike crit spiky counter. I will say also that was pleasant. I stay out one like this. Now, you are not going to be able to shoot this guy. Well, you can. You can with this. Ooh. I will say, one thing I, I hadn't thought too hard about previously... That is that it was an amazing diagonal right there. Is fear of death stacks up really, really ridiculously fast when 
when you hit with AoEs. That's a that's a component of fear of death that I hadn't thought about. Now, unfortunately, we kind of shifted this hero over, so their uh, their death rays are, are suboptimal now. Where was the crit? What are you at right now? Only 65. Okay. Pew pew. All right, now you over here, I think. Am I ever gonna use the hammer much? Kind of feels like the hammer may just not get a lot of love. Blood Mage is still triple swiping, despite uh, despite everything. Just snipe shot. Hold on one second here. So we had a mighty cliffhanger there for a second. Uh, I don't usually suspend runs uh, mid midnight, especially on turn five, but uh, but we had a little bit of a, an emergency on the home front, and so uh, so I was taking care of that, and uh, and now we are back. Everyone is healthy and happy and safe, and we are going to try our best to. Uh, to get back into the swing of things and hopefully still keep the uh, the A rank. That would be my goal. Let's see, with two AP left. So we have an AP here. This guy's probably not. This probably this guy's probably gonna be pretty difficult to get to get dead. Yeah, I think given that, we're probably best off just finishing him. Yeah, we, we may lose the uh, we may lose the B rank. 1 p.m. here in Brazil. Ah, oh, very nice, I uh, Imperator. I I despise that these walls have been lost, but we're losing more walls. But in Death Ray, we trust. That is pretty satisfying. I think I think a stun here though is the play. We need some time to take out these uh, these big dudes. And then over here, there's not a great there's not there's not much in the way of sword blast ability here. Let's see, do I want to just, I think I probably just zap that guy. We can get three with a sword blast. Maybe that's the best we can do. All right. It's not, it's not ideal, but it's not terrible. And then as long as we're landing our crits, we'll probably secure some decent kills over here. I don't like that we're we're falling a little behind on these guys, but yes, everything is everything is good, everything is awesome. To quote, uh, to quote the Lego Movie. Is there any chance we get a kill with this? All right, I, I think that was worth trying.
but my poor walls. <laughs> so now, now though, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to carve a path out so we can get a few more death rays off. I think. That's probably good enough, but let's see. All right. Then let's see, I think. Every turn we should be using charge like it's going out of style. I'm trying to figure out if there's a good... Yeah, this is decent. We're unfortunately a little lacking in good charge targets now. But that's not bad. 7 p.m. in Egypt. Sir Morda, thank you, and thank you for the kind words in the YouTube comment. Truly appreciate it. Truly, truly appreciate it. Let's see, you you have another stun you can you can trot out, so I think we do that. Just to buy ourselves some time. Oh, that miss feels awful. And then we run out of steam a little before I wanted to. The, the spiky counter on our uh, on our orb dude is kind of comical. Okay, we've used up all of our triple swipes, so AP economy is uh, is slightly slightly worse than it was. I think I think we're better off leaving these guys to just chew on that wall. And then I'm going to give these guys a target. Ideally blocking off them going any further. Actually, although we... Before I do that, let's let's see where we get to with our... Uh, with our stunner here. Oh, that was disappointing. Okay. You were you were late, the dud. I was just thinking that I I take one uh, one day for a family emergency, and all of a sudden you're just uh, you're just abandoning me. It stings a little. These uh these baddies made a bit of a mockery of our uh of our defenses. I think it uh it speaks to the power of the weapons that we are using. And not in a good way. I'm going to try and conserve mana now. Let's make sure we use up our mana pots. was anticlimactic. Shall be careful with making jokes so that the humor C with friend group A situation doesn't happen. That's that's probably a fair 
It's probably a fair consideration. Let's see. You can't do you can't do much of anything. You have one left, so let's get rid of that. Gosh, my my poor my poor walls. <laughs> I'm gonna suspect that Casper here is the person who needs as many uh, as many kills as is humanly possible. All right. Well, that was a mess. I'm really, truly despising our our longbow person. Oh, look at that. We're already on the final night. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I missed your message, uh, Rafiki Tiki. Well, I guess it didn't show up because it was the first message. But yes, everything is good. All is well. Thank you for checking in. I appreciate it. Yes, I'm I'm glad to be back. All is all is well, all is good. Everyone over here is healthy and happy and uh and it was just a little bit of excitement that we had going on there. Yeah, 10 minutes in and we're on the last night. Uh, I think bully is definitely worth taking. Let's see. We don't need more healing received, I don't think. More block is good. Opportunism is fine. Let's see our blood mage. I think runic gift is the better pickup. We'll find we'll find a trinket, and that will be more stats than we would have gotten from anything else. Our crit master can just take some crit and some opportunism. It's fine. And they pick up Critmaster. Okay. Now let's see. I wanted I wanted to get the other one of these upgraded. So we'll spend our money there. And then all the death rays you can uh, all the death rays you can afford. Grab three more items. And then we'll just see what we can do. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and I, I love that we have no multi-hit weapons. Laysai. Yes, Ke Keon has, has found their, uh, they've got their groove back, as it were. Ooh, collateral damage. It can't, it can't kill us anymore. <laughs> Do we have, I think everyone has relatively high accuracy, so it probably won't come in that handy. Yes, killing killing the harplings will uh, will indeed be a, be a strong suit of the longbow. Kind of, they are a little bit. That's uh, a decent two-handed sword. That's a decent helmet though too. I'll grab the two-handed sword. Looks like level two gear is what we're getting. I know that Abigail mentioned that it is uh, it is possible with production to get some level three gear, but uh, no no easy task. Hey, Sam, welcome on in. I've been enjoying you enjoying uh, Across the Obelisk. It's been a while since I've uh, since I've played, but uh, seems like you're you're doing some good work. I think I'm going to reroll this one that uh, that multi hit ring is not going to get uh, not going to do us any good with no multi hit weapons. A level 3 sword is probably better than a level 1 sword. What uh what is Keon Rock in here? An AP, we could get 9 crit. Did uh none of our heroes had the poison tree, right? So that's well, we get 7 crit with a bunch of defensive stats. That's probably better. Let's see. You've got Let's give you a bit more crit. I'm just going to give you this trinket here for the stun chance. 
Yeah, we can move this AP trinket over here. Move that there. Upgrade you to this, because base damage, I think, is the most important thing. You lose a bit of accuracy, but that's fine. Oh, yeah, the, the most devastating modifier being... Pi pri that's uh, across the obelisk. Got it. Which we were just talking about, so it makes perfect sense. Okay, these pants aren't going to get used. How much better is a level 3 sword than a level 2 sword? That's a huge difference in terms of base damage, so we'll grab that. Then over here, 23 mana is hard to say no to. I think I am going to swap you over to one orb and one of those just so you have a little more flexibility oh this metal of collateral damage has an action point on it hmm maybe we put it here on our blood mage this is only six percent crit swap that to there and then I was going to put this out. Oh, this is the one that we already replaced. And then I like the stun there. Okay, so we can sell all this. I think one level of shopkeeper's friend is probably good for business. But then all this stuff gets sold. Gildenberg is such an unsatisfying knight. Especially when your shop is this barren. Ooh, that's nice. We'll grab that. So let's see. So we can put the level 3 here, get your crit up to 73%. And then I want everyone to have a teleport. You have a warp crystal, you have a teleport, you have a teleport. Okay. Okay. Great for farming AP favors. Oh, yeah. That that does make sense. All right, let's see. So I think let's, let's try rebuilding. Ooh, that went quick. All right. Well, I should have built... I should have built the cheaper things, but I was feeling lazy. It will be okay. Earthquake strike with an action point. I mean... We'll have to take a look at them, Dio. I want I don't want to speak out of turn. I believe they do still have dodge, but I don't know how much. Let's see. What am I looking for? So these health potions are are whatever. I think I'd rather more teleportation capability. But yeah, I do think they do have some dodge to them, but not a crazy amount. What's uh Casper is going to be doing a little bit less stunning, so I don't want to. I don't want to over-index and stun. They'll still be stunning, but it won't be quite as aggressively. One moving wall, I think, for our blood mage is great. Put that there. Sell these. But yeah, I don't think they are as dodgy. Organic armor with two action points on it. What? Crikey. We could technically buy it. Do we we don't really have do we have anyone that has we have no one that took bodybuilder. So I don't think there's much value to that. The two AP is nice, but I don't think it's worth spending all of our remaining money on it. Hey, Alex, thank you. That's only level two, so it doesn't quite work for us. I think I'm, I'm probably just rolling. Oh, that is so much crit. 126, that seems like it's probably out of reach. So I sell this for 27. Yeah, unfortunately, this showed up just a little bit too late. That would have been really nice, though. Meteor Ring would be fun, but no uh, no dice.
Now we've already used these. So I guess it's just everybody gets a side and we just, uh, we just go to town. I think every one of our heroes is capable of doing what needs to be done. So I'm going to do this, I think, because our, uh, our blood mage is the most capable of, uh, of relocating if need be with the warp crystal. Make sure there's nothing else. Ooh, a level four sword. Again, would have been nice, but what can you do? Reign of Arrows is a pretty decent scroll, but I think we're just I think we're just done. I think we're just done. Alright. Let's finish this up. Here goes night number seven. Three harpies to freedom. IKZ? What does that stand for? Okay, let's see. So we need to we need to take these out. The crits are good over here. The crits are good. We had no harplings over here, so. Let's see, are you, you are hittable from here. Okay. You can recenter a bit. IKZ equals Ikuzo just means uh, to go. Usually used as a sort of battle cry. I love it. Cool. Japanese word. Okay, thank you for sharing, Alex. Truly. <laughs> couldn't couldn't help myself. All right, so that other one is up in the air. Unfortunately, I mean, we can walk to here, but we have to. We'd have to do it this way. Yeah, that's probably not worth it. Yes. Yeah, so so next run will be happening tomorrow, and uh, and next run will be, uh, it it has one of we have one of two options for our next challenge, and I have not, I've not decided which one we could we could go for kind of like the next in the cycle. Uh, no, across the obelisk, Sam. Uh, we could go for. We could go for the no movement challenge, which uh, which has been requested. And I was planning on doing this week, or we could go for the uh, the the next iteration of this. Now let's see if you come over to here. Zap you, and then you over here. So I wanted to do this death ray, as it's it, for obvious reasons, but I guess we will. I guess we'll chill. This hero is really a little, a little lackluster. These blockers are also slightly annoying. So the thing there was just that I can at least get some propagation going. 
man, leaving him on low health feels bad. All right, well, let's see where the uh, where the harpy decides to land. Oh yeah, and we'll check the next set of harping harplings. Sorry, I forgot. Harplings have 20% dodge, and your collateral hit has 18% accuracy, I believe. So it is possible to trigger collateral hit. All right. That is something. Okay, so we need to we need to kill this guy, which this this hero is the worst equipped for killing this. Good string of crits. Holy cow. Like, are you serious? That was... That was, like, nothing short of, of incredible. Holy cow. Never have I ever seen a string of, uh, of crits quite that impressive. So, let's see. So, yeah. So, if I look at one of these. 20% dodge, 12% resistance, 8 movement. They have a lot of movement. go now you over here i think we're just farming crit master procs you do be hitting hard though keon let's see who still has actions you still have actions you could do All right, with one with one AP left, I'm not worried about it. You don't need to stand next to the bad guys. We did leave one harpling over there. Hold on, is it coming all the way in? No. Should have should have made sure we killed that, but it was in an awkward position. No movement challenge. You need to suffer after your break. Yeah, my my slacking requires uh requires penance. But yeah, so that one's gonna be no ballista no movement like literally zero movement that's the plan stop giving minus damage to keon for pete's sake this is this is inappropriate this side really does make uh make some death rays difficult to uh to work with okay so let's see so first of all boop you now unfortunately i guess i need to do this So that I can do that. With sufficient crit, it is good. We we can't we can't complain too much. Let's see, I guess we'll What's the best way to get a sh I think this is the best tile to teleport to, and then I can do this. And then I think standing right here is going to get... No, one tile back. No, actually, no no good targeting whatsoever. I think we're going to... We're going to go for this next pile here. This is the higher level one, so we'll do that. Someone's going to have to go get this guy. Why did collateral hit just light up? Whenever an enemy dodges, cast automatically. These guys have 30% dodge, so they also... There's a chance. It The problem with collateral damage is unquestionably that it is... It's hard to read. 
Like, it's hard to know when it's triggered. It doesn't, like, visually, it doesn't, it doesn't stand out. And you can go, oh, yeah, that was collateral hit. Like, sometimes things just die, and you're like, what happened? Okay, so you're going to have to move back. But you use up all your teleports. Collateral damage doesn't have any animation. Enemies just kind of take damage and explode like they normally would. Yeah, it's it's very it's very confusing. And I will say the other thing. Also, what's going on with there being a little dot under each one of these? I don't think I've noticed that before. Is that always there? I guess it is. That's a weird dot. Like, I don't know if that's easy to see for anyone else here. I'll put it over the purple mist. But, like, each circle has a little dot underneath it. I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, but yeah, collateral damage, I guess, is highlighted anytime there is an enemy in range 1 to 2. No, there's no enemy in range 1 to 2 right now. I don't know. I do not know. But... It's easier to trigger when you kill other heroes. That's an excellent point. Strong, strong point. Okay, so let's see. So let's get you... Let's get you doing some work over here. Yeah, why, collateral damage seems to light up when we are far away from enemies. Which really couldn't be more the opposite of what I think I want it to do. Okay, you're over here. You're probably going to come help over here because we're doing an embarrassingly poor job on that side. Let's drink our first Pilsner. Should give us 100% crit. How close are we? 97. All right. That's XCOM numbers right there. A miss doesn't count as not critting for the, uh, for the uninitiated. Okay. All right, Harpy, which side are you landing on this time? This side again? All right, I am definitely going to have to bring my Blood Mage over, I think. Imagine critical miss. Is that where you shoot yourself in the foot with the longbow? Is that the, uh... Is that, is that, is that what a critical miss is? So last time... Last time Casper managed a uncanny string of string of crits. I do not expect the same this time. Although I guess with Bully, it's not as out of the question, is it? Because now your effective crit rate is 89%. Ah, that's why. It's because of Bully. Well, I think we need all of them, so... So, it, if anything, it was... So I guess Bully was a good pickup. We still will help over here, but we might do we might do a little bit of work on other things. Uh, question about how it used to work. If you use a multi-hit attack and missed a lot, would it burn all your AP? Yes, that is the way that it worked. Excuse me. Yeah, you would actively lose AP every single time. One per. It was it was pretty hilarious. I was in shock that it worked that way. I I was in absolute denial. Could not believe that that they would build a skill that way. Let's see. Let's do this. We don't have moving wall anymore.
We're spending some health, but we'll be okay. Now you, unfortunately, you've done most of what there is to do. Rather stun this guy up, if that's if that's all we're going to get. You, do you have one more teleport? You don't. Uh, we'll hold off on that. You, on the other hand, you're just... You're just chilling. We could teleport over and help. We're on the last harpy? Yeah. When every hit is a crit, it, it does feel good using the longbow, but that is a that is a statement that I think is true of any weapon. Also, fun fact that collateral damage used to be able to target the caster too. What did what uh, what acrobatics did you have to do to get it to target the caster though in Lustrous? Because that that can't have just happened normally, I don't think. Or, or if they were the only person to just do that. Because that would be truly astoundingly silly. It would cast if you had zero AP. That's how Alden had to kill his other hero. Oh my gosh, did that did that work too? That would that would not surprise me. I didn't remember if I had zero AP. But yeah, old collateral damage was uh a, a truly incredibly awful skill. Like, I, I don't know that I could have designed something worse with, uh, with a lot of free time. Alright, so we're, we're ready. The Harpy will arrive and we will dispatch the Harpy. Really couldn't have put it in a worse place, but we'll manage. You had it trigger on zero AP while using an offhand. Good gravy. Hundred percent crit on on hedgehogs is definitely uh, definitely fun stuff. Let's get let's get opportunism triggered. So now you're at 100% crit thanks to bully. 109% crit to be more specific. Let's clear a path. Anyone got any preferences on who uh, who does the deed? Everybody's got good hits. I think our our largest hit. Oh my gosh! I just collateral. I just collateral hit the uh, the harpy there. Okay, we've got it isolated now. So let's see. So you're hitting for. We don't know because because uh, it's scrolling off the screen. So we got 1,200 damage here on crit. We have 400 damage here. And then your biggest attack with momentum is like 1,400. But your crit chance is 4%. So that's, you're really going to hit for 1,000. Which means our biggest hit is here. I, I say you give it to him with the lowest damage. Give the kill to the triple swipe scroll. I was thinking about death raying everyone, except for the caster of death ray. This also seems appropriate, right? Yeah, we'll do this. There we go. Oh yeah, death ray into spiky counter. Did it not kill? 
It doesn't look like it killed this hero. Did we dodge the spiky counter? We could go into the logs and check if we wanted to. But yeah. The bad weapon challenges are going to be tough. Just, just thinking out loud, because obviously next would be Lakeburg APOC 5. Our, our Blood Mage clearly popped off the hardest. Orb is definitely S tier. Orb is definitely S tier until you run out of mana, and then it uh, it is exactly what you would expect it to be, which is definitely not S tier. But yeah, I don't know. Like the the builds for this weapon trio are pretty awful. Yes, we're going to be getting much longer post-stream streams today. We're going to play like two games of Spell Rogue, and then we'll probably play a little bit of Ring of Pain after that. I'm excited to do a little bit of variety. Uh, Blood Mage with Triple Swipe Scroll can run any weapon? A little bit, yeah. I, I do think we should probably think about... Uh, on our Blood Mages, we should definitely think about Overload for the extra charge on the scrolls, because scrolls are going to be kind of our best friend. In fact, on this challenge in general, I think Overload is kind of S tier. So anyways, as a reminder, this was hammers, two-handed swords, longbows, and magic orbs. We ran advanced training and dexterity, although I don't think we got much value out of either of them, and this was indeed APOC 5. Let's see. Keon, it shows full armor here, so I'd have to go back and look at it. Valheim. I've heard good things about Valheim, uh, Sam. Do I think that spiky counter is cheating in the challenge? No, I don't. Uh, I, I I think that this this challenge is about using bad weapons. That's what, or not bad weapons, but low tier weapons. And so as long as we're doing that, I think we're, I think we're in the spirit of the challenge. If I had poisonous heroes, I would run, uh, I would run poisonous and and try and make that work too. Hey, White Fang. But uh but yeah, this was this was a good run. We we had fun with this.